Hi, I'm Heather Casper, the Curator of Education at the Minnesota Marine Art Museum in Winona. I'm so glad you have an art kit and I'm thrilled you found this video. Your art kit was made possible by a grant from the Minnesota State Arts Board. Our Arts Access program, Second Saturdays, has gone virtual. Check out our website to find Second Saturdays home edition activities like videos and interactive games for the whole family to enjoy. The Minnesota Marine Art Museum collects and exhibits art inspired by water. This is the most famous painting in our collection. This is Emanuel Leutze's Washington Crossing the Delaware. And although we have many famous artists, this is Vincent van Gogh's very first oil painting. Let me show you the artwork that inspired the project in your art kit today. This is Rainbow Falls, Watkins Glen, New York, painted by James Hope. James Hope isn't a very famous artist, which doesn't matter at all. Most of the visitors to the museum tell us that this is the artwork they enjoyed experiencing the most. It's fun to walk towards in the gallery. Because of its large scale, you feel as if you may walk right into this very place. This is a real place. This is a Rainbow Falls in Watkins Glen, New York, as it looks today. Hope uses a one-point perspective with a vanishing point to draw our eye into the center of this painting. As you look around, you may discover a rainbow that he painted on the rocks right below one of the waterfalls. This painted rainbow was what inspired your Painted Rocks art project today. Let's get started. Let's check out what came in your art kit. You'll notice we have a how-to information guide. You have two rocks. These rocks need to be washed and dried. Um, the paint will not stick to any dirt or dust that's on your rock. We have a water cup that you need to fill with clean water. This paper plate will serve as your paint palette. We have a napkin for you to blot your brush in between colors. And we've included two paint brushes. One is a flat brush and one is a round tipped brush. We also have acrylic paint. This is not washable. So you need to make sure you have appropriate clothes on and cover your surface so that you're set up for success. Think about what you want to paint on your rock. You may look around your house and find some reference images. Here's an example of a birthday card that my son was sent. I liked the little cat on the card, so I used this card as a reference. We're going to put lots of images and ideas of painted rocks at the end of this demonstration for you to check out as well. One of the decisions you'll need to make depending on your design choice is if you want to leave your rock its natural color or put a coat of white paint over it. Let me show you the difference. These two rocks both were painted with rainbows using the colors that you have in your kit. On the left side of the rock I painted two coats of the color and on the right side of the rock just one color. You can see that the rainbow on the white paint, the colors appear just a little bit more vibrant but I actually love the uh, negative space that this rainbow shows with the natural rock. Let's check out your colors. We included white, red, yellow, turquoise, green, and black in your art kit. Now you'll notice that in my rainbow, I also have orange and purple. Those are colors that I mixed using the six colors you have here. So you're gonna wanna take advantage of mixing some additional colors with these paints. Let me show you how to do that. When you're ready to mix your colors, you're gonna pick up your flat brush and use it almost like a spoon to take the color that you want out of the paint pot and put it onto your palette. Anytime your brush has a color in it, you need to rinse it all the way in your water and blot it dry on your paper towel. I'm gonna to make a little bit of orange. So I'm gonna take red and yellow. When mixing two colors of paint, you always want to add your darker color into your lighter color. So I'll take a scoop of red and just stir it into my yellow pile, kind of on the side, until I get the shade of orange that I like. I'm gonna kind of get the paint out of my brush the best I can. 
And there I have my orange color. When you're ready to paint, here are three tips. Make sure you let your color completely dry before you add the next layer on top. Wet paint will blend with wet paint on your rock. One of the ways I like to do this is start painting many rocks at one time so that I can wait while one rock is drying while I work on my next. A second tip is about pressure. When you're trying to make fine lines with your brush, you just want to get a tiny bit of paint on the end of it and barely touch the tip to the rock. You can practice making some lines on your plate. My third tip is to use the end of your brush to make dots. Dots are a great tool when decorating. If you need a different size dot, a pencil eraser also will make a nice dot. Thanks for joining me. I'll leave you with some sample ideas for inspiration. Have fun.